Oh, oh, boy, TV. They scared, but I'm not. They don't like comentario. Y suscribe. Michael Porter Jr. This guy might be like the most. He might be top of the list now, players that I'm disgusted with. Michael Porter Jr. says, the money makes playing in the NBA feel more like a job. I would have. I would have played this game for free as long as I could eat. I loved it. The money sometimes makes it a little bit harder to enjoy the game because with a max contract comes a lot of expectations on, on consistency. Oh, you're supposed to be an all-star. You're supposed to be this and that. Michael Porter Jr., if that much money makes you feel with that pressure, you can donate that to All Ball TV. Donate half of that. You know, <laughs> you know we'll be the bodyguard. We'll do whatever, whatever it is we'll you take it. be done. Right. What, what are you I'll say. I'll take that job. <laughs> but <laughs> once, once again, no, no, no. This is what I'm saying about these dudes, no. Fleet. And, and I'm going to let y'all go. I'm just glad Michael Porter Jr. stopped doing the podcasting. Did y'all see the podcast he had with the female? I think it was a good idea. Yeah. I thought Lord, it was a good idea, too. Yeah, okay. Listen, he, he, <laughs> he's he, just he, swaggling. He, he giving out all the secrets. He Man, listen. Oh, no, simping, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Simping at his finest. Thank God he stopped that. But listen, man, the, the, the Denver Nuggets, if I'm the Joker, which, you know, they say Joker only care about horses and all this and all of that. If I'm the Joker, come to New York, man. We'll show you what it is to, to, to treat you how you're supposed to be treated and win some title. As NBA athletes, you get caught up in your persona, in your IG accounts, and, and, and Twitter. And so many people in your head and in your ear that you forget what the hell you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be setting yourself up for generational wealth and teaching your children on how to be better people. And take this money and help and help a, 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 a not just a race, but a society of people grow. Because we we're not broke. But in terms of him, we broke. We ain't got the money he got. So what I'm, what I'm about to say, I want y'all to hear me for a second. We don't understand that level of pressure. We'll never understand that level of pressure. None of us never played on that level. Never, none of us have ever had that type of money. So it's easy for us to say, you got to do this, you got to do that prepare him for the type of money he's coming into his mom and daddy ain't never had that money either so what the fuck do they know about preparing him to come into 200 million dollars the mindset yeah we can prepare you for what's about to be thrown at you with life but we're talking about playing on the in the nba again i'm gonna say none of us did it and no, nobody in the comments has so how can we say to him that pressure, what you mean, you, you know, what do you mean you complaining about making the type of money? The, the kids said it, basketball was easier, was fun, more fun to play when there were no expectations, when I wasn't playing for money, when I wasn't playing for anything, when I was just out there hooping. Yes, you are privileged now to be in a position to be a multimillionaire and play the game that you love. But it is so easy for us to talk about Oh, you got that type of money. You should be ready for this and you should be ready for that. You got to be focused on this. These niggas don't know. And they're not coming from nowhere that does know. You ever you ever hear Steph Curry not understanding what is that what's in front of him? His daddy was in the NBA locker room. A lot of these other guys that play in the NBA that come from that, you don't see too much of them ever struggle with understanding what's at stake. Some of these kids have no clue what's at stake and i'm not gonna kill him for not knowing just because he's in the position that he because he has it he doesn't have the information and there's a lot of ogs out there i'm not talking about y'all i'm just saying there's a lot of ogs out there that get caught up in the same thing that Corey lee is talking about today they're not pouring into these kids about what they need and what they don't need and how they should be looking at life there's not a lot of people doing that because they see the dollars that these niggas is getting and they want to attach themselves to it because they want to be a part of the meal ticket. They're not teaching them about character and structure, how to manage your money. They're not doing that. Mm -hmm. So there's very small, there's very little people out there like a Corey Lee, like an all ball, like a you, Fabian, 
Y'all are pouring into y'all kids. Y'all trying to help these. There's a lot of the kids. There's a lot of these grown ass men that see dollar signs when they see a Michael Porter Jr. coming up in AAU. Dollar signs bro, when they see a Trey bro, Young coming them up. Too much bail. You shooting them too much bail, bro. I'm telling the I, truth. No, you shooting them. Listen, man. Let's 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 let yo. Let's let's let's. You got two hundred million dollars right now. You would know what to do with it. At 50, no, at 50 plus ain't, no, ain't, ain't, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no MF on this earth know what to do with two hundred million dollars unless not, somebody who's already had saying, two hundred million dollars. Hold on a second, but with that said though, God, think about this though. You know what I'm saying? What's what's wrong with pumping your brakes, slowing it down, trimming the fat from around you? Real talk, because you got a conscience and common sense. You got a third eye. Real talk, God. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. We ain't talking about no dummies. These cats went to college. And just because they just because they did underwater basket weaving for, for, for the first few semesters to get them through, you understand what I'm saying? They still had some structure around them. And they had, listen, the NBA has programs in place to help these people. This is what's part of the collective bargaining agreement. So you cannot, you can't run that by me. But we you, we changing the conversation now. He no, just, we're not changing the conversation. Just, we we talking about the same thing. We talk about the same thing. It's just no, we're not talking about what he user. said. You know, you you're missing the point. Utilizing the assets that you have in front of you. You I understand what I'm saying? Structuring your life. Money. Listen, if I had two hundred million dollars, do you know how many people? First of all, I wouldn't even tell a. I sold how much money I had. Right. <laughs> I sold. And I mean, not even my wife. And I love her dearly. <laughs> Yo, I'm the same boy. But hold on, hold on, hold on. But hold on, fella. Just, but just, we missing. We getting away from what Michael right. Porter is saying. It's not right. about he don't know how to manage his money. He's not ready. He's talking simply about the expectations, for the game. That, my bad. The expectations right. that come with making the kind of money that he makes right but but flea that's what i disagree with so give the money back we just saw brunson turn down a hundred million dollars like there's no and brunson is ready for it works y'all being y'all being disingenuous now that's not how it works why wow. no, oh, flea, right. oh. flea you a cornerstone of the nuggets bro no you're not that's what i'm saying he's not oh, wait wait wait, wait, wait. Yes, he he's not a flea, flea he was the number 10 pick if i'm not mistaken we could have picked the, drafted he him dropped to, he dropped was like 14 the, or something like that yeah. right because his back was messed up and you still get 200 hey. million dollars He's not a cornerstone of that that, that no, friend. No, 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 but, I'm saying, no, I'm saying he's supposed to be. Remember, but hold on, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Let What's me the say facts? This. Yeah. No, hold on, but let me say this real quick. Go ahead, Ball. Uh, to me, and y'all all make great points. Nobody's right or wrong. But to me, what Michael Porter is doing, what I don't like about it is don't let don't don't let the money be an excuse for you to not reach your potential. My thing is this, bro. You 6'10, you have the skill set to be an all-star. You are over there in Denver. They paid you off of the potential of you being one of those guys. You are inconsistent. You don't play no defense. You're not a great rebounder. All you do is shoot threes. My man, with that contract, the pressure's supposed to be on. He's supposed to understand that. He's been playing basketball his whole life. His dream was to make it to the NBA. You made it. Now that you made it, you got a championship. You have the big contract. Now you have to produce. My thing is, I don't want to make no excuses for Michael Porter Jr. It's either you that guy or you not. He has the potential and the skill set. He has everything that he should be an all-star. And he doesn't do it every year. He's supposed to be one of those pieces that keeps them in the race and has the potential to be championship contention every year. He's supposed to be a big three with him and Jamal Murray in, 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 no. in the Joker. No. Why not don't you think so, about please? supposed to be? No. No, because he's not that good. That's what I'm saying. The nigga's good, but he's not like a top 25 player in this league. He's, he's supposed cool. to be Flea. He's supposed to be, though, Flea. No, he's not. Yes, he no, does. Not. Hold on. You don't, you don't think that's by choice, though? By he's making not. these decisions? And, and, and that mindset. Yo, I just don't think he's that good. The I'm, not gassed. I'm not gassed to the point where this guy's supposed to be a 25 a night guy. He's not that kind of guy. He should be though, Flea. Why? Why do you say that? Because he's 6'10? Yes. What about his game 
says to you that he could be a consistent 20 point scorer because nothing he can... about his game says that him coming out of from high school going to college the hype was crazy over him of course you so, know he had the he had hold on he had the back injury so that dropped him down but remember flea you talk about this a lot if we're talking like the trajectory the potential he was if without the back injury he would have been a top five top ten pick so we know if you one of those and they talking about you like that you're supposed to be same thing with what what's the young man and he's about to fade out marvin bagley it was the hype with him as well yeah. These guys, 6'10", 6, 6'11". 6, lottery, picks, lottery picks all get hyped. No, no. I, at the I, end I, I of the day, if you get the chance to watch the first three years of his career, I know what I'm looking at now. I don't care about what they told oh. me in high school. So let me I know what I see right. the first three years. So, he so, ain't that good. Right, and I agree with that. But I'm asking high school, college, and in the NBA, have you ever seen flashes of him where you say, okay, this kid should be better than what he is? 100%. But I see his motor. I see how he approaches the game. I see, I see all the intangibles that tell me he ain't that good. He's a piece. He will be moved soon. They're not building around him. He, he'll get moved soon. He'll be somewhere else. I, I that's that's how I see. I don't see him being some cornerstone for Denver. But I think that's part of the problem, Flea. Because now how hard is it to move him? Remember the, the Jamal Murray, his deal was held up because Michael Porter signed that first. You the third best, you're supposed to be at least the third best player on this team. And now you're not showing up that way. And you make this comment, you're not supposed to tell me that. I'm not but, supposed to know you soft like that. Oh, oh boy, oh, TV. They scared, but I'm not. They don't like commentario. Isus Pribe.